reaction of ammonia with acetic acid. Aqueous acetic acid was weak electrolyte. Aqueous ammonia is also weak. One more time, just to make sure that you have everything in one place. Acidic acid, which is a weak acid, is going to be very weak because it's giving me like very dim light, very weak uh, electrolytes. And then we have aqueous ammonia. Ammonia is also aqueous ammonia is ammonia in water very dim light even it's there it's very hard to see it for you what happens if we add these two as a reactant so we are adding acetic acid to ammonia what do we get as a result see what's happening as i add the acetic acid to ammonia the product that forms is the ionic compound the product is called ammonium acetate made of two ions and if it's made of two ions it's going to be ionic compound. it's soluble because it doesn't give me precipitate so as a result that is a, a strong electrolyte because it's ionic compound and it's soluble completely soluble if it gives the ionic compound that is not soluble that's a different story that looks like that you are placing that those poles inside uh, insoluble compounds like calcium carbonate or solid compounds so it's not going to um, there are no ions because if it's not soluble it's not going to generate ions. we have sulfuric acid and barium hydroxide each one separately strong acid a strong electrolyte so I'm going to test the barium hydroxide for you. Barium hydroxide is a strong base. Barium hydroxide is a strong base. Separately, this is the reactant, barium hydroxide. And I also have sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is also strong electrolyte separately. The question is, what happens if you make barium hydroxide react with sulfuric acid? So we are going to try that. I'm going to put some uh, which one should I add? I'm going to put some barium hydroxide and going to add slowly. I'm going to add so I have the barium hydroxide and slowly I'm going to add sulfuric acid. So you're with me? Okay. I'm going to add slowly sulfuric acid. See what's happening to the light? If I add enough sulfuric acid to react with all of the um, all of the barium hydroxide, then the light. Is going to be dim and dimmer it has to neutralize so it has to neutralize I have to add enough for it to neutralize so the light is getting dimmer and at what what point one point if I add enough of the 
acid to neutralize all the base is going to actually turn off. Your reactants are strong electrolytes, but the product is going to be very weak electrolytes in a way that it's, uh, it's not actually electrolyzed. It's going to um, it's going to turn off the light if I add enough of the two that I get to point of neutralization. So basically, there is no leftover of the of the acid or the the base. Okay. If I have extra of the acid or extra of the base, obviously it's going to be electrolyte. But if I add enough of each to neutralize both completely, it's going to be no light and no electrolyte. Uh, based on the observation that you have today, you can finish up the data sheet for experiment five and submit it as the assignment to assignment folder.